going. I'm Anthony with Sessions Music. I'm going to break down how to play some uh, open guitar chords. So the first thing is all these chords, with the exception of one, uh, will use open strings. And the reason I'm going to show you that the other one is, is commonly used is the F chord. So let's start with the E chord. It's E major, and this is your first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. And this is your E, A, D, G, B, E string. Easy way to remember that is Elvis 8 Dynamite, Goodbye Elvis. This is also your 6th string and your 1st string and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But let's go by the string names, E, A, D, G, B, E. So, to play an E chord, it looks like this. So let me get in close for these. So the E chord, you're going to put your middle finger or your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the A string your third finger on the second fret of the D string and your first finger on the first fret of the B string and you will play all the strings so even the strings that don't have fingers on them still ring through if you have trouble like if you try doing it and these aren't coming through you want to get a good angle you want to be a nice high arch nice high arch going on there not all closed together like this so if you got a nice high arch going on to do your E minor chord, it's a great jump from E major, you just pick up this finger. And there's E minor, you still play all the strings. We're going to skip over F and go straight to G, and G can be played two ways, actually multiple ways. It can be played like this. So second finger on the third fret of the E string, first finger on the second fret of the A string, and third finger on the third fret of the high E. It's also acceptable to move your third finger to the third fret of B and your pinky on the third fret of E. And then the other way, which I less commonly do, is without your first finger. Where second finger, second fret A, third finger, third fret low E, and pinky on the third fret high E. Each of those ways is acceptable to play G. This one, I might add, is a little bit brighter. You have your A chord. A uh, commonly does not use this low E string, but you can actually incorporate it if you'd like. It is uh, muted E string, your A string, second fret on your D, G, and B with your first, second, and third finger just in a row, and open E on the top. So if you want to have a little bit more ump to it, you can play this low E. To do your A minor, it's almost the same, but you go one fret back on the B string, but to do that, you have to move your fingers around. So it's going to be middle finger and third finger on the second frets of the D and G, and your first finger on the first fret of the B. And again, you can incorporate that low E if you'd like. An easy jump from here to C is you move your third finger to the third fret of the A string, and there is your C chord. So, 3rd finger, 3rd fret A, 2nd finger, 2nd fret D, the G is open, 1st finger, 1st fret B, and the high E is open. And even though there's an E in this chord, it doesn't really sound good to have the E in the bass. It kind of clashes. So a good way to mute that is either throw your thumb over the top, or use the chunky part right here, your 3rd finger, to touch the bottom of the E string. You have your D chord, so with the D chord it's open D, 2nd fret with your 1st finger on the G, 3rd fret with the 3rd finger on the B, and your middle finger, 2nd finger, is on the 2nd fret of the high E. You can incorporate the A string in there as well to make it a little chunkier, but not the E. So I throw my thumb over the top, that way I can strum all the, all the strings with the E when it comes through. D minor. You have open D, 2nd fret G with your 2nd finger, 3rd fret B with your 3rd finger, uh, and 1st fret high E with your 1st finger. And again, you can incorporate the A string if you like, and make sure to mute that low E string. So F, even though it does not contain any open strings, I like to incorporate because you're going to use it a lot, it will be muted E string your ring and pinky on the third fret of the A and D, your second finger on the second fret of the G, and your first finger on the first fret of the B. And I'm going to also mute this high E string with 
this kind of chunky part of my hand or the first part of my first finger. So that way, that's muted, that's muted. There you go. All right, thanks again. This is Anthony. Those are your open chords for guitar, and I'll see you next time.